Mm-hmm. Yo guys, what is happening? Welcome back. Welcome back, to guys. Talk podcast. So we got some more Piers Morgan uncensored today. What's this one, bro? Ashing it out with Pearl Davis, the female version of Andrew Tate. So Piers Morgan and Pearl Davis debate Prince Harry's royal rift. Can't say I'm massive on the uh, the royals, but you know a little bit, don't you, bro? Not you that much, there? really. Harry and Meghan. I know that they're yeah. not welcoming the royal family. Um, and uh, there's been some family affairs that's gone on. Um, we are late queen that passed away, things mm-hmm. like that. Like they called one of the kids the name of what the queen used to be called by her husband. And only her husband used to call the queen this name, a certain name, but yet they've called their child that name. Oh, no. And the queen were, I don't think she were happy with that because no. it was sort of like, well, only my husband called me that. And, you know, the sort yeah, it's a of, bit offensive to me. Well, it can be seen as offensive, or it yeah. can be seen as, um, you know, uh, a nice thing, a nice sentiment yeah, as well, suppose, but yeah. I don't think the Queen took it that well. But let's no. get into it. Piers Morgan is going to ash it out with the panel. We've got our favourite guy on there, not... Is that Esther? Esther, James Barr. Oh, James Barr, oh, here he is. Welcome back, I'm joined by my well, super PAC tonight, Talk to the contributor Esther Cracker, the comedian and podcaster James Barr, the political journalist David Santino, and from the United States, the YouTuber Pearl Davis. Well, welcome to all of you. So I want to start with this uh, big furore in the House of Commons today because, well, it was basically all about this show in a way because Keir Starmer opened up by attacking the Prime Minister about his admission to me that they failed to hit their weight in his targets. And then he went on to mock him about the bet that we made for charity over the Rwanda plan. Um, But then things turned what many think to be quite ugly because the Prime Minister said this. And it's a bit rich, Mr Speaker, to hear about promises from someone who's broken every single promise he was elected on. I mean, I think I counted almost 30 in the last year. Pensions, planning, peerages, public sector pay, tuition fees, childcare, second referendums, defining a woman. Although, although in fairness, that was only 99% of a U-turn. Of all the weeks to say that, when Brianna's mother is in this chamber, shame, parading as a man of integrity when he's got absolutely no responsibility. Well, the contentious element of that is, of course, that uh, Brianna Jai's mother, Esther, was up in the gallery. Now, it turned out she wasn't there, actually, at the moment that this joke was made by the Prime Minister. He would say a pointed remark, making a point at Keir Starmer's expense. But, Ava, it's caused a lot of furore, this falling out, saying that it was very callous, inappropriate and so on. What's your view? I, I, I'm, I'm really upset about it. I'm sad. I'm sad for her mother and I'm sad for every trans person in this country that had to witness that today. I think the worst... For those who don't know, her mother was a transgender girl who was brutally killed by two complete psychos and it was yes. her daughter. Bri- yes, Brianna Jai was... I don't... You know So what? that's obviously... Yeah, that's bad. Disgusting. You know, we do, do we you know have, what I mean? We do not agree with any of that. No, we do, not, we do not support I, anyone I that have, is going to... No, I have no issue with trans people. No issue with them. I don't agree with it. But I, it should never go to an extent where people should be dying. Yeah, or, e- or, even, or, even, or even harming them or, yeah. or even, you know, um, hateful, as what we would class as hateful speech because yeah. some of the things we say on here to trans to trans people, it would be uh, uh, hateful speech yeah. and it would be transphobic speech. But we're on about, like, actually calling someone names and you're this, you're that, you're blah, blah, blah. We're physically you know, attacking we, them. We, we, are, we are not for that at no. all. Um, we're just here to voice our opinions on specific topics that can be sensitive to some more than others but you know we've got to get our word out there share our opinions this is what this podcast is named after the straight talk podcast hash it out and do it the right way you know absolutely um, if we saw a trans person in real life which we come across them we probably would just interview them about something yeah but we'd we'd do it diplomatically and we wouldn't wouldn't slam them in a respectful way yeah in a respect. In in our, our in our manner of respect, they're still like that guy misgendered someone, and, and obviously that she told him to f off and yeah. whatnot. Like you know, in our respectful way of asking him if they are a man or a woman, etc. Blah blah blah. But still, again, you, to them, it's it's sort of like hate speech. But yeah, that, that's bang out of order, man. Yeah. These guys deserve the worst life after that. Yes, was killed, and she was she was a trans woman. Mm. Um, but you know what's really upsetting about this is that we don't even afford trans people dignity in deaths. I think that the way that that is going to now be marked in Hansard in the parliamentary book forever, I think that is shame on the country. Mm. I'm sad to hear it. 
James? Yeah, I agree. I think it's utterly shameful. It's just disgusting. I'm so annoyed with Rishi Sunak. He has absolutely no backbone. In the same week that he made a lazy bet with the devil about refugees, he's now... The devil? That's he's me. now made a joke. Is exactly. He's now made a you joke me about devil. another minority, and it's just disgusting. Well, okay. Yeah, it's funny, like, I know he's, he's said that, but he actually means that in somewhat way that Piers Morgan is the devil. But yeah, <laughs> you're sat on his panel <laughs> taking his money. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? So you're doing business yeah, you're, you're with doing, the devil. Yeah, exactly. You're slating the devil, yet you're doing business with the guy, yet you're earning money from him. You know, you're getting... I, I had no idea who this guy was until Piers Morgan took him. On his James show. Barr. No idea who He's a comedian. Not funny one either. And it's so vulgar talking about wanting what he wants to do with men and stuff like that. It's like, bro... We get it, you're gay. You don't have to, on every joke, you don't have to say that you fancy it next door neighbour and you're wondering if he's gay and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, you sat there with the devil as well, bro, so... Yeah. You're not calling me the devil, uh, for one. Uh, I don't have horns. Uh, but secondly, um, I don't know, Esther, I think I'm missing I, something I, I, here. I think the thing is, can we get some perspective here? Rishi Sunak has made this comment about Keir Starmer being unable to define a woman many times. And, and to be clear thing... about the background to that, Keir Starmer spent most of the last two years avoiding say, it. Uh, refusing to say what well, a woman, woman is. Was. Exactly. Then eventually saying women could have penises. Then he said, well, actually, 99% of women, of women don't, have, don't have a penis, meaning that 1% do. And the one yeah, time that percent. he chooses to defend himself or is himself on his record is the unfortunate time that Brianna Jai's mother is in, is in the comments. I'm sorry. Right. So, obviously, we don't agree with... What happened to her? But the th the stuff she said before sounds absolutely ludicrous to me. Nine, nine, what ninety nine? That were that were that were Keir Starmer. So that's that's the guy who's probably going to be running the country. Oh, is that him? Is that, yeah. is that me getting mixed up? But, um, yeah. What's he on about? He's a guy. Yeah, but he's 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 he's, he's on the left, isn't he? And he's 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 basically. He's, oh, he he was saying he's like the her, English version of Joe Biden. The, crowd. the mother was in the crowd when Rishi right, Sunak okay, okay. made that comment. But Rishi Sunak has made that comment somewhat similar like that over and over again before and she weren't actually in the crowd at that time. So, so. the time that she's in the crowd, nah, it's a big fucking problem. Yeah, because, you know, her, because her daughter, her, her son, her tra trans daughter yeah. or whatever, uh, you know, got killed, unfortunately. Um, I'm sure Rishi Sunak, if she knew you were there, I'm sure it wouldn't Well, she weren't there anyway. Well, she weren't even like, there. Like, well, like, like Piers Morgan said, she weren't there at the time. So, but... This this is who's going to be leading our country, Rishi Sunak, that can't identify what a woman is and says that 99% ain't got a penis, but the 1% have. Look, it was in poor taste, given the circumstances, but at the end of the day, it's a very valid point. No, no it's not. It's in poor no, it's taste a very valid every point day. Because it's a very valid point, because the thing is, this whole issue about, you know, trans rights doesn't just, you know... It's not based on one thing. It's also based on women feeling their, like their rights. No, no, no. Right. Let's hear what you no, said. That, no, but that's trans the point rights. that's being made. Trans rights. These are politicians. A right to exist. So, hang on. Let's, so, let's hang talk on. about... Hang on. We've hang talked no, nobody, into Westminster into a gossip fest. Nobody is disputing that trans people have rights to fairness and equality. Yes, they are. No, they're yes, not. Yes, they are. Here's what I'm disputing. I'm sorry, but it's 100% of women do not have a penis. Can Let's you, just start with a biological fact. Can you imagine? Right? This was not an attack on this poor woman who lost her daughter. Had nothing to do with her it whatsoever. This was an attack on Keir oh, Starmer's God. inability God. to actually stand up for women's rights and to say unequivocally that women do not have a penis. That's which, by the way, is a I, fact. It's it's not not it it is standing up for women's yes, rights. Yes, yes, the moment I, you try to pretend woman. women Rihanna have a penis, a you are destroying women's rights. There's, uh, Trans look, women listen. are women. No, they're not, OK? Yes, they are. And I'm sorry. James Barr's famous words, oh, isn't it? Tran tra guy. Trans women are women. Yes, they are. Look, Ray, like, like that person said before on one of our videos, you don't have to transition and you don't have to, you know, get an operation down there to be uh, a trans woman. So basically, you know, uh, me and Vinny looking the way that we do, um, if we decided to transition, could, could class ourselves as women. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is pure ridiculous, it, ludicrous. And um, yeah, reg regardless of how many surgeries I ever had, all the cells and all the chromosomes in my body will always prevent me from being a woman. Unless yeah. you are created a woman in a woman's womb, you will never be a woman, and that's a simple fact. It's a fact. What we really do need is we really need like like Zubby, that weightlifter, that bloke who transitioned uh, legally, uh, so he could beat some records. 
we really need someone to do that in the sports world to, yeah. to take the piss on purpose. Yeah, to, to just prove to the woke lefties that it, it just can't happen. Yeah. Or th- this is what's going to happen if it does happen. They, you know, they, he, if you don't know who Zubby is, he, uh, he illegally identified as a woman. Not because he's woke, because experimental. Um, he beat the woman's deadlift world record. After a couple of weeks training, yeah, we aren't even trying. We aren't even trying, um, and you know this 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 just opens a huge black hole for mm. all the sports. This is just deadlifting. We're not talking about boxing, any yeah. sort of combat sports. We're not talking about swimming. We've already seen that with Leah Thomas running, uh, and, uh, all different sports regardless of the sport. Men usually dominate unless it's shooting or mm. whatever you, whatever he said last time. Um, so yeah, the biological differences make it. Physically impossible for a woman to compete with a man. Un- well, obviously there's some odd odd one out of women that's absolutely jacked. Yeah. Like my mum, she's different breed, isn't she? So, but um, yeah, like I said, if if they had an Olympics that were gender neutral, where there were no separation between genders, what would happen, bro? The men had just absolutely destroyed the women. There would not be women. one qualified woman. No. And like we said, the, the top team in Australia lost to the under-15 boys team. That's crazy. I still can't even believe that that Nine actually nil. happened. Nine to zero. A, a, a bunch of prepubescent lads, or some of them prepubescent. Beat profession, the world's best professional women's team in Australia. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That's you are... Uh, well, how do you MMA define fighter, a woman? Who's, how do you who's a woman? having your skull question? A woman is a biological, biological female. That's you it. You will not understand it. I'm sorry. A female... Unless you're, you're that's someone it. Who's, who's, who's having your child, having to sh- your female child having to share a bathroom with a biological man, you will never understand what it means for us to sit there and pretend like trans women. I think when you're drilling it down, down to biology, then you have to talk about women that have had hysterectomies. Are they no longer women? Let me bring in Pearl. I'm going to bring in Pearl who's been waiting patiently. Pearl across the pond. Um... A lot of people clutching their pearls about all this pearl, ironically. But I just think that in the end, what Rishi Sunak did was in a list of things that he claimed his opponent had made U-turns on, he made the completely valid point, if you take it in its in its isolation, that actually it was ridiculous to pretend that a percentage of women have a penis. And for that, he's now been branded transphobic. What do you think of that? <laughs> Well, number one, I can't believe you guys are grown adults arguing about what a woman is. Or like, I, I, it blows right, my yeah. mind. It's number so two, um, I have family members that died of obesity. I still support people's right to make jokes about being fat. Life is hard. Get over it. And number three, um, you know, I'm a semi-pro wow. athlete here in, in the UK. You know, I, I, I play, I play sports in London. And I've actually had to deal with some of the consequences of women being, women's spaces being, you know, having men come in them. And like, you know, I had a tournament last spring where there was a whole team full of men, you know, just dressed up as women. So is that fair? You know, I I, I think think I'd be more threatened by your your recent tweet where you said that 16 year old girls were hotter than 26 year old women. If I was a woman. (laughs) And yes. I saw that tweet, and I saw you in a space. Yeah. I'd well, be then, terrified. Then, then why aren't you, why aren't you protesting? Why aren't you protesting the age of consent laws in the UK? If you're really outraged, all all you guys what, do is so you got one is trying to find one thing out of context. What is that? And you're changing do? the subject, really. When we're here to talk about, so are you. Is it all right for him to make jokes? Well, People can is, make jokes. But it, he it, certainly it, wasn't. Here's the point. Making, here's the point. He certainly sure. wasn't trying to make a joke at the expense of, yeah. of this poor girl who got murdered, or with her mother there deliberately trying to uh, score some point with her there. He was purely making the point, which he's made repeatedly, yeah. that when Keir Starmer can't say what a woman is, mm. that is ridiculous. And I agree mm. with him about that. Yeah. And I'm not sure that the Prime Minister should be branded transphobic for not thinking that a woman has a penis. Well, why do you think that? Would you not think that all of this narrative feeds into the hate that is in this no, country? No, absolutely why do not. You not you know what, bro? Like, we keep defending ourselves saying that we're not transphobic. But at, at some point, we're just going to have to accept what other trans people view us as. Which, if they view us as transphobic, I'll say, you know what? All right, that's transphobic. Sam. Yeah, yeah. To you, we're transphobic. 
But to us, we actually know the truth, and and so that's all that matters to ourselves. But, realistically, but, but someone could call me transphobic. You could never know the true meaning of transphobic or how far it actually goes, because everyone everyone would see transphobia as a different level of hate. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, true. Do, do, do some people, some people just say, "Oh, you, you, if I say he or her or the wrong pronoun, that's yeah. transphobic." But if some 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 people be like, "You know, that's not transphobic. You, yeah. know, you made a mistake. That's it." You know, some people take things differently and so there's no there's never a, you can never truly nail down mm. what how far you can actually go with so, so in that case then that makes uh the topic of uh, are you transphobic or not it makes it subjective instead of objective because yeah. you know there is no definitive line that states you're as transphobic or not to us we, we our line is far looser than the left's line and these trans people's lines you know like like, like i mentioned it again but just accidentally misgendering someone you are labelled as transphobic. How how can you be labelled as transphobic when you when you're accidentally labelling a woman that looks like a woman a woman and then they're kicking off about it saying, "Well, what, we're not what, actually." What happened to learning from your mistakes and that mistakes are normal and mistakes happen? Not you're transphobic. You made a mistake. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you you judge for literally everything right like now. You know and. I, f- I don't think we should be judged for our mistakes. If right. the truth is being labelled as transphobic, then that's what they can label us as, and yeah. that's fine. We've got to deal. And if with they that. want to judge people, people for making mistakes, then that 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 just makes me not like them more. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It just makes me dislike the community more. Yeah, I already don't agree with ninety percent of the stuff that they ramble on about. Yeah, because they're always bringing out new things, and that means this happens, and that means this law has to be brought in place. It's all just ludicrous, isn't it? Because it's not hateful to state a biological... No, because trans people. Where do you it is not that hateful. That I have always supported, for example, trans people's rights to fairness and equality. Always, right? I've been repeatedly called transphobic myself for thinking that a six-foot-four biological male who becomes a trans woman athlete and starts demolishing biological females in a swimming pool and breaks all records and wants to be on the Olympic team, depriving a woman of a place and so on, that I think that is ridiculous. But that exaggeration I'm not transphobic to for do thinking that. I'm supporting and defending women's rights. Similarly, Rishi Sunak thinks it is absurd that a political leader in this country should think that a, a, any woman you know, has pose, a penis. You know, can, can I pose, pose to you? And he's right. Can I pose to you that it's quite possible that Rishi Sunak is a terrible politician and he didn't even understand the attack you know, no, that he I'm sorry, that's, that's that was given to him. Thing. Well, I'm not sure half of his party didn't understand it. Kemi Badnock said this, every murder is a tragedy, we can all agree. None should be trivialised by political point scoring. As a mother, I can imagine the trauma that Esther Guy has endured. It'd be shameful of Starmer to link his own ability inability to be clear on the matter of sex and gender directly to her and group. And that's, that's the point. Here's the, here's the issue. We have turned Westminster into a gossip fest because Rishi Sunak mm. has made this point about uh, Keir Starmer's inability to talk about what a woman is for literally months. And we all understood it, but suddenly when there's an opportunity to score cheap political points and to make the link b- between that and this poor lady, uh, Brianna Jai's mother, suddenly we're now all outraged by it. This is not the first time Rishi Sunak... I think what the trans have done is they think that Richie, because Rishi Sunak said it, even though he said it loads of times before, they're dismissing the fact that he said it loads of times before, and they're just pointing out that the fact that he said it now, as this poor lady's obviously yeah. been killed. So they're capitalising they ca- on it. Yeah, they're capitalising on it. And it's, you can't just you can't just do that. You can't just say to him, you're transphobic because you've said this at this time. You know, you, you could, I could say something right now, and something could, something could have happened yesterday. I could say it now, but I've said it for the past couple of weeks. Mm. And they could just point out the one time that I've said it and be like, right, you're transphobic for saying that. It, yeah, and, 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 and as Grace said as well, you know, she's lost people uh, to obesity, but she still uh, respects and, and is okay with people making fat jokes. You know, you you can't... It's it, What did Importe say at that time? For Rishi Sunak... For Rishi... For us, no, but for someone like Rishi Sunak in that spotlight at Westminster, possibly because now people are talking about it like us, and yeah. you know, um, it's a, it, a poor choice of words at that time, maybe, but wrong words to say, no. And do you know what? I'd, who's this other guy who sticks for all trans? What's his name? Uh, Keir Starmer. I, you know, I, I really do think a lot of this is to get more votes. Oh he, yeah, he, he, I, he, he doesn't. He definitely does not believe half the stuff he says 100 percent. same same as joe biden you know joe biden yeah, jo- yeah joe biden if you look at his old videos when he were a lot younger 
uh, he doesn't even look like the same guy. I had to actually double double check that that was Joe Biden speaking because we just know him as Sleepy Joe and he's so old. But his views on trans people and women's rights were different. We need but, to call it vote bait, not click bait. You yeah, vote bait. No, it, it, it's so it, true. Literally. And now he wants Dylan Mulvaney in the White House and he sits her down for a cup of tea or whatever. Because he wants them votes. He vote bait, that's what, a new word yeah. bro. The vote, vote, bait, vote bait. And, and he wants them votes, and that's why he's willing to do it. He actually doesn't believe that yeah, stuff. Does he? Right, so we've got... Should we just... I said it, and we know it, but because we've decided to turn our politicians from, from actual politicians who have a job to do to basically reality stars, we're, we're feigning ignorance over the real issue, and that's... Well, it's a bit like... It's a, we're always... To be honest, it's a bit like... The actual issue, aren't we? Bro? Yeah. Like you, like you said, with the immigration, with the abortion stuff, we're always covering up the, the major issues and sugarcoating them with some yeah. absolute BS. Yeah. Like this. No, it's true. Bet, which you said was with the devil, all right, ha-ha. Uh -huh. Maybe I should get all hurt and upset about you calling me the devil. My sensitive little skin can't deal yeah, with it. Yeah, you're not a minority. You're it's likening me like to minority. the most... Yeah, no, that's right. So he's all right to call him the devil. I don't. I, I can't think of a worse thing or... or it's, yeah, it's, I know. It's on I'm lines really say, of, yeah. Call it, you know, a, a really the bad thing The devil's every somewhere. bad word in the world. But like, yeah, you call a bloke a bloke that's transitioning... <laughs> And, yeah. and, and you're all names double under standards, the standards, man. Double standards. It's crazy, it's isn't so, it? It's so much hypocrites. But it's a long video, so we're going to end this part here. This is part one. Make sure you go out and check part two. Thanks for watching, guys.